<gasps> Welcome back. <laughs> oh, Master, I wonder what kind of dream we'll have tonight. Well, let's go together. Seek you. The chain tied to the collar around your neck rattles as you try to eat the food that you yourself prepared. Your chain is just for show, however. The rattling end isn't bolted into the wall or anything like that. You've been granted the freedom to move about the castle as you'd like. You've even learned that you are allowed to roam throughout the town as you'd like to. As long as you return by your curfew, you can lead your own life while your master takes care of his own affairs. But that's just it. <laughs> Perhaps it wouldn't be so painful if you were truly changed. Instead of being given the opportunity to quarter some drunken wretch in a dark and alley, finally able to scratch that insufferable bitch that wanton thirst to dig your fangs in fast and deep, gliding at their feet. Downsides when you are a monster. You hear footsteps approach. Oh, my little one, I never knew that the countenance by which you feast would be so unbearable to look at, so distressed, so torn, so distraught with anxiety. I see that you are unable to stomach the savory meat pie you requested of my mate. Ah, a lesson learned, no doubt. Simple meals like that are no longer yours to have. So throw away your fork and spoon. <coughs> Food prepared for mortals will never satiate your stomach. Nothing prepared by the butcher. Nothing prepared by the grocer. Even food cooked by the hands of the most brilliant chefs will not make those screams scraping against the inside of your skull seats. No, my dear. You know very well, deep in your blackened heart, what you must do. All vampires must simply feed on human flesh. <laughs> that look on your face. Sorrowful. <sighs> you are the void of the desire to drink blood. Hmm. Fear not. You are but a well. It is normal. The disdain you have of hunting, killing, eating what is naturally your prey, will naturally pass. Come, little one, lend an ear to the window, and listen. The townsfolk joyously caroling in the streets will surely not miss the lives of their most pitiful. 
Less competition, less mounds to feed, less defecation. Life goes on. Try to recall, little one. If you've ever heard any voice wailing in the night yawning from the mother that's given up on you, the father that sold you to me, or anyone else, you've no one to call friend, no one to call family. Are you missed? <laughs> My dear. None shall miss you more than I. Look at me, my pet. Look at my eyes and see that for you I do bear only the truth. Hunger, it is fine to hunger. But for an immortal, if you hunger too much, you will lose sight of every semblance of consciousness and become an ill-fated wretch. Though you are abandoned by your kin, when blood between us was shared, you, you became mine. You would have turned into dust if your soul, or should I say, what? was once your soul did not hold a deep desire to give yourself to me to become mine my pet for all eternity so of course you must desire to remain as yourself hunt feast consume eat 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 or else you will become ugly dust. <laughs> mm, your eyes, your eyes, your eyes. But I see that you are still so frightened of yourself. Very well then. I will. Just take your neck and grab this chain. <sighs> Little one, come here. This is my neck. Be not fearful of what you've already a taste of. Drink from my neck. I will not die of it. You bite down. Your hunger can't help but make you violent in your meal. And yet, you remain stoic, understanding. That's it. Good. Do you feel it? My blood entering your heart, filling your veins with a sharp warmth. Your body is beginning to breathe, remembering the oxygen, giving you consciousness. And your face, the color blossoming in your cheeks, its beauty restored. Once again, you, little one, become what I want. <laughs> For not the price of the meal, but rather because you are mine, I intend to So. What did you think of tonight's lovely dream? Feeling comforted with a smile in your heart? <laughs> That's wonderful. I can tell from your face. After all, 
Once you listen to my voice and remember my name, I'll forever be a part of you. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. I want you to subscribe to my Patreon to hear everything. Or if you want to offer your support, buy this on Gumroad. I want you to watch me perform live on my YouTube, Twitch, and Billy Billy streams. But most of all, I want you to be safe and happy until we next meet. Farewell, love, Seiko. Bye bye.